Hey everyone, my name is Dylan and this is Grant. We're from Gunspot and we're making this video for Tolster.com. Grant is a very experienced shooter, a firearm instructor, SWAT and Marine. And today he's gonna be telling us what kind of ammo we should or shouldn't be carrying in our everyday carry. So why don't we start out with, um, with your everyday carry, what kind of ammo should we not be carrying? So regularly I see probably the biggest mistake made when folks just pick up target ammo full metal jacket um, ammo and that's what they're carrying for self-defense and you know that ammo is not designed for defense it, it's just not it's designed for poking holes into paper um, not for poking holes into people and and it's not it's not loaded the same way and and that's just beside the hollow point or the projectile itself it's the amount of powder that's involved, it's the tolerance that it's loaded with. You know, you're gonna get a far less consistent performance out of target ammunition, um, as far as accuracy, as far as reliability, than you will with a quality defensive handgun round. Okay, and so now that we've covered what we shouldn't be carrying in our everyday carry, uh, you've brought some specific examples here of some of your favorites. So why don't you walk us through some of uh, these manufacturers and these rounds that you would recommend that people carry? So um, what we have here is Spear Gold Dot, um, Federal HST, and Hornady Critical Duty. And, and I'm by no means saying these are the only good defensive rounds out there, but I have a long history with Spear Gold Dot and HST especially. Um, going back to law enforcement, we had, uh, we were not carrying one of these three rounds uh, back in the day, and we had several shootings that just had really lackluster performance as far as eliminating threats and the situation really got out of control um, because of the ammo that we were carrying. And we made a switch to Spear Gold Dot. It was uh, at the time for a 40 Smith & Wesson. It was the highest rated by the FBI's ballistic lab uh, for performance. And so when we switched to that, immediately um, when officers were involved in shooting, we saw better results. So Spear Gold Dot's been around for a long time. They're one of the original um, bullet companies that, that came out with bonded bullet technology in handgun am ammunition, and it just performed through those barriers um, at a much more consistent um, rate. HST, it's another one of those more newer um, brands or, or models of ammunition. It, it's, um, it is my daily carry choice. Uh, the FBI has rated it really high and it's chosen by a lot of law enforcement uh, agencies today. Um, and I've shot it through intermediate barriers into ballistic gelatin and, and it's done really well in my personal um, tests of it. So those are, those are my two top favorites. Um, I've heard good things about the critical duty, that's why it's here, but I, I have as a little bit less um, experience with it. And so when you're shopping for defense ammunition, one of the things you're going to recognize right off the bat is it's more expensive. It's going to be way more expensive than that, that full metal jacket practice ammunition, but that's because a lot more care and work goes into these because these are the rounds that your life will depend on. Um, so, so why don't you kind of tell us how much can we expect to spend per box of defense ammunition? Well, that's probably a question that is dependent on the time frame. Um, you know, right now, ammunition prices are off the charts. Availability is, is pretty tough as well. Um, but suffice it to say, you, you're going to definitely spend double what you spend on target ammunition. And, and really, good defensive ammo should be looked at kind of like match grade rifle ammunition. It's really loaded more towards that precision consistency and, and you know how much is your life worth to you um, you know if I paid a hundred dollars for a box of bullets that that is going to be traded out in a year my life is worth that hundred dollar investment okay and this has been our video about what kind of ammunition for you to carry in your everyday carry we're gonna go ahead and put the links for these in the description and in the article below so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time